Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Studio and Indie. In this video we will go through the changes we brought to the Maverick Renders interface. The first important change in this new version is the library panel. All Maverick libraries are now accessible from a unique panel. Categories such as shading, lighting, objects and favorites are now all packed together. The shading library now features different subfolders for materials, maps and colors. In the same fashion, the lighting library now displays subfolders for each ambiences, environments, backplates and projectors categories. The objects and favorites tabs will work the same as well. Another important change to increase your productivity, is the Render Window Shortcut Tools. In the bottom left corner you will find several new icons. The first one will load the currently selected object in the Attributes panel. The second one will load the selected object's material parameters. The third one will load the current camera parameters, it works the same as using the pen icon below the Render Window. The fourth one will load the environment and backplate parameters. And finally, the fifth one will load the floor shadow catcher material parameters. For example if we apply a new ambience to this scene and use the edit shadow catcher icon, we can immediately edit its parameters in just one click. In the top left corner of the render window, you will find an enhanced info tag to check various engine parameters. In the top right corner, you will find a view sphere to rotate the camera. You can also click on one of the sphere's sides to align the camera to the front, back, left or right views. There is also a button to return to the saved camera position. Finally in the bottom right corner you will find a quick help guide displaying the currently selected tools usage guidelines. If you select another tool, this quick help panel will automatically display its quick guide. Enabling the Transform tool for example makes the Quick Help panel display relevant mouse and keyboard combos for it. Also new in this version, when using any other tool than the Selection 1, a new very visible banner will show to remind you that the current tool may need to be disabled after use. Clicking on this banner will immediately exit from the current tool and switch to the Select tool. For example, if you are using the normal Light tool, the banner will show up. When you are done, a click on this banner automatically disables it and makes it roll back to the selection tool. Another change is the location of the layouts button. In previous versions of Maverick it was in the main toolbar. It is now part of the render window. As a reminder, the layouts button allows you to use shaded views to position lights or objects without changing your render window camera position. Speaking of the main toolbar, it now displays the name of each icon's function, to make it easier to identify the button's purpose. A new help panel, now part of the default user interface, displays a minimized version of the Maverick documentation for the selected object, light, material or map in the scene. We currently have a light selected, and the help panel displays its mini documentation. If we select a material for example, the help displays all the information about it. We hope this will greatly help learning Maverick faster, getting detailed information on every node without leaving the interface. Clicking on the main toolbar's help icon for example, loads the shortcuts and general usage information into the panel. Finally, the expert mode is no longer available. Instead, attributes rollouts for advanced features are collapsed by default. This makes accessing advanced parameters easier, by simply expending rollouts instead of switching the expert UI toggle on each node. Here the coatings tint and thin film parameters shows as lighter rollouts. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoy the new features and will put them to great use. Have fun rendering with Maverick. 